How to use Panda Dog? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be telling you how you can use Panda Dog and how you can use it to create your documents. So, having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, I am on Panda Dog, and as you can see over here, there is a free trial available. However, there is also a free plan, but you can opt for that one as well if you want to. So, let me just show you the pricing plan so that we can get that out of the way. So straight up, if we come over here, we can see there are three plans. So we have the starter, business and enterprise. Now, if we are using the free plan or starter, we get you no limited access, but we get most of the basic features such as unlimited legal binding signatures, unlimited documents payments and mobile applications. Whereas if we go with the essential or business, we get much more options such as templates, uh, media drag and drop document editor, pricing table document analytics, 24 7 email support, CRM and Zapier integration, content library custom, branding approval, workflow forms, and books. And as well, so then we have enterprise for this one. You have to, you know, go ahead and talk to them or like contact them to get a price. But you know, this is what it is right. The free plan and the essential plan is worth $19, the business plan is worth $49. So then once you have picked out a plan, you just simply click on the started free trial button right here. So after completing the requirements of free trial, you are here on dashboard and over here you are going to see all of your details. So you are going to have and over here you can see all of your drafts, your approval, your send documents, suggestion edits and complete. Here on the left side of screen, you see inbox, reports, documents, automations, contacts, marketplace template gallery and some other options. So let's go ahead and click on templates and see what we have over. As I said before, templates are only accessible in the paid versions of the plan. They are not available in the free plan. So over here you have your template gallery and within the template gallery you have all sorts of things. So you have all the templates over here such as your proposal, your investor proposals and all of that. Then you have your agreement over here your business plans, your presentations as well. So over here, these are all the feature templates in which you see mobile app development proposal template, graphic design proposal template, property management proposal template. Then over here, these are all the business plans. Here you see that there are many different type of business plans like coffee shop business plan, hotel business plan, restaurant business plan, salon business plan and many more. There are different type of more templates like community gallery presentations and some more like construction consulting. Here you choose one of template which you like. Here I think bill of sales would look good. And here you can see the templates like junk vehicle bill of sale, driver school application and many more. So here junk title we have application for watercraft. Here like bill of sale over here click on view. Then we can see the bill of sale. It will open up like this. As for over here, as you can see, it looks really nice. It's really in detailed. Everything is over here. Seller information, buyer and seller information, automated disclosure and all of that. So it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead. Click on a sample invoice over here and see how it looks like. And over here, you can see you have all these different things, right? So this is how you basically look like this is going to be your document right here. And over here on left side, you can see all of your tools such as text images and drag. It's a simple drag and drop editor. And then over here, you are going to have all of your pages of your document. So over here, this is how it looks like, right? So it's pretty simple. You just edit it out. You add a bunch of things. So for example, if I were to add some details, I would go ahead and add like, I would say voiceover. Then I would say, and yeah, I think that looks good. So I would here and I would basically say, that all the videos done in May, so something like that. It would look good and then over here and then down below over here, you can add other details as well. And once you have added it, you can go ahead and enter in the price over here. I would say seven, all right. And the quantity, I would say maybe like 50 or something like that. And then over here, you can have your price, right? You can add other details as well, whatever you want to add. You can add that over there. So maybe something like video editing as well. And uh, then over here, I would say maybe like 10 as well. 
and over here the quantity would be uh, i would say 50 and then you can add other things as well then you will have your subtotal over here then you can probably add a discount if you want i would say maybe like a 10 discount and then i would say maybe like a 10 tax fee as well well it's basically 20 but uh, yeah and then this is probably how it's going to look like if you wanted to create one click on the plus button or you know click over here and over here you can find a new invoice as well within documents but for now let's go ahead and click on add new and just simply click on blank page right here then you can drag uh, your unnecessary text file or uh, something like that uh, documents then go ahead and drag and drop the image over here on blank page and it's your choice from where do you like to upload an image you want to add some text like maybe like a text field you can go ahead and add the text field over here then you can add also a date as well maybe you know like enter in the date of when it was created like maybe something like that then you have your check buttons drop downs all of that and you have your other pricing tables as well like just simply drag and drop the pricing table and it will look something like this one over here at the top and you can go ahead and edit it out however you feel like it so it all depends on you so once you have done that you are good to go so pretty much that's it next what you can do is you can add a signature button over here but for that you have to have a signature for yourself a signature is a personalized mark symbol or writing that serves as a form of confirmation or authentication on a document contract or other records they can take various forms including handwritten signatures electronic signatures or digital signatures so how you could create this so let's go into settings and in settings just scroll down write general settings personal information scroll down you will see the signature option over here tap on setup signature you can just set up your signature simply click on draw or type or you can upload a signature yourself like you know capture like you write your signature on a piece of paper capture a picture and upload it over here or you can draw it over here on with your mouse or if you have a touch screen or something like that then you can draw it yourself but generally this is how it's going to look like you can go ahead and write whichever one you want and then go ahead and save it and then your signature will be saved then the signature will be placed on every single document that you will have signed so pretty much that's it that's how you do it pandadoc is a document automation platform that helps businesses streamline their document creation delivery and signature processes thanks for watching bye